Hi everyone, it is Elena J. Inkle. Today I am back with video number two in the new series I'm doing, and this series is Less Popular Alternatives to the Top 100 Girl Names of the Year 2014. And in this video, I'm planning on talking about names 95 through 91. So, at 95 in the year 2014 was the name Jonna. Jonna is an Italian short form of Giovanna, which means God's grace. It's a form of John. This name is also sometimes pronounced Gianna or Gianna. I I personally prefer the original Jana pronunciation for this name. Jana Jessen is the name of a very, very renowned pro-life advocate. And Kobe Bryant, the basketball player, has a daughter named Jana. This entered the top 1,000 girl names in 1989 and has been at the top 100 girl names since 2006. I do definitely think this is one of those names that people don't know how popular it is, but I totally get why it's popular. It's stunning and amazing, and yeah, I love it. My first Jana alternative I have is Giada. This is the Italian word for jade, and it is sometimes pronounced Giada as well. This name is brought into the limelight frequently because of the TV chef Giada De Laurentiis, and there is an actress named Giada Cola Grande, who is the wife of actor Willem Dafoe. I think this name is so stunning, and I'm always really excited if I ever see it used. This was in the top 1,000 girl names from 2007 through 2013, but it's not right now, and I think that someone who likes Giada might like Giada because they have a really similar look and sound. The next Jana alternative I have is Giovanna. This is the feminine Italian form of John, which means God's grace again, and this can also be pronounced Giovanna. There is a Brazilian actress named Giovanna Lancelotti, and singer Edith Piaf's middle name was Giovanna. Her name was Edith Giovanna Piaf. I think that name is so, so insanely cool. The celebrity Snooki also has a daughter named Giovanna. I was really excited when I saw her use that. I think it's a beautiful name, and of course, someone who's name is Giovanna could go by the nickname Jana, which is really cool. Giovanna first entered the top 1,000 girl names in the year 1991, and it is currently ranked at 874 in the top 1,000 girl names. I think that someone who likes Jana might like Giovanna because they have a similar sound, they have the same meaning and origin, and then, like I mentioned, it, Jana can be a nickname for Giovanna. And my last Jana alternative I have is Jana with this spelling. This is, of course, a feminine form of John, which means God's grace. There is a character named Jana from the 2013 movie August Osage County, and I actually graduated with a girl who has a daughter named Jana, so I definitely associate that name with her. This was in the top 1,000 girl names from 1961 through 1989, but is not right now. And of course, I think someone who likes Jana with a G I A N N A spelling might like Jana with this spelling because they sound exactly the same, but it's a lot less popular. And number 94 in the year 2014 was the name Lauren. This is an English variant of Lawrence, which means Laurel. This name first started really becoming popular for girls because of the actress Lauren Bacall. I also associate this with designer Ralph Lauren, celebrity Lauren Conrad, and the actress Lauren Graham from Gilmore Girls. I have known lots and lots of Laurens, and it's funny because I find that a lot of the Laurens I meet tend to have a similar look, and so I definitely have a really strong picture in mind when I think of someone with the name Lauren, and it's a really positive picture. I actually used to really love this name when I first started liking names. Um, maybe like fifth and sixth grade. I always liked this for a middle name. I also had a friend growing up who had the middle name Lawrence. So that probably has something to do with it. I actually think this would be a lot fresher on a boy in 2016 because this has been in the top 100 girl names since the year 1978. And actually it was in the top 10 girl names a few times. And the name Lauren first entered the top 1,000 girl names in 1945, all the way up at 355. So it went from never having been in the top 1,000 girl names to all the way up at 355, which is pretty crazy. So my first Lauren alternative I have is the rain. This is a French name meaning Lothar's reign, and Lothar would have been um, an ancient king. There is a soul singer named Lorraine Ellison, and Lorraine McFly is the name of Marty McFly's mom in the Back to the Future series. Also, Jack Nicholson's daughter is named Lorraine Nicholson. She's definitely how I picture Lorraine to look as well. I have actually always loved the name Lorraine. I had a great aunt named Lorraine. I didn't know her really well, but I think that since her name was Lorraine, it made me think about the name. And then when I was about 14 or 15, I met a toddler named Lorraine, and it made me love it even more, seeing it on a little girl. I just think it's darling. And and this was in the top 100 girl names through 1995, but is not even in the top 1,000 girl names right now. I think it's wonderful and would be a lot fresher in 2016 than Lauren on the Little Girl. And I think that someone who likes Lauren might like Lorraine because it has a very similar sound. My next Lauren alternative I have is Laurel. This is an English name that refers to the bay tree or the shrub. 
and laurel wreaths in ancient history were given as awards to signify victory and peace. They are often associated with the Olympic Games. There are several rising actresses with this name. And also the protagonist from the book Wings by author April Lynn Pike is named Laurel. And there is a character from the popular TV show How to Get Away with Murder named Laurel Costillo. This is a name I think just is totally underused and super super cool. I especially love it in the middle name spot. This has been in the top 1000 girl names most years since 1901 and is currently ranked at 817. And I think that's something like Lauren might like Laurel because they have the same meaning. They're only one letter different in spelling and pronunciation and they can both honor a Lauren as well. And my last Lauren alternative I have is Laurence. Laurence is the French feminine form of Laurence that again means Laurel. There is a stunning French Canadian actress named Laurence LaBeouf. Otherwise it is not common at all for girls. I think that this name is super usable in 2016 because so many people are all about using boy names on girls and because people associate Laurence with a boy, not only can they use this on a girl and have it be a girl's name, but it can have a totally different pronunciation with that French Laurence, which is absolutely stunning. This name was introduced to me by my friend Amelia, who is a fellow name to her. And I think that someone who likes Lauren might like Laurence because they have the same nickname options, the same meaning, and Laurence can honor a Lauren as well. At number 93 in the year 2014 it was the name London. This is an English name that comes from the Latin Londinium of unknown meaning. I actually included this name in my boy alternative videos as an alternative to Landon, which is very popular for boys right now. And London is being used on boys as well in the US. Actress Ashley Tisdale's character from The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody's name was London, and of course this is the capital of England, and because that, I think that's a huge draw for people to this name, and so all of my alternatives are going to be names of European cities. This name entered the top 1,000 girl names in 1994 and has been in the top 100 girl names since the year 2011. My first London alternative I have is Vienna. Vienna is the German form of a Latin name that means white and of course is the capital of Austria. My One of my favorite singers, Billy Joel, has a song called Vienna. I definitely think of that song when I hear Vienna. And there is a wonderful singer named Vienna Tang that was introduced to me by another name enthusiast in the name community. I think this name is so stunning. I have a daughter named Brenna and then I have a daughter's middle name is Violet. And I think both of those names are too close to Vienna, otherwise I could totally consider using this. And once again, I think that's someone who likes London, but I like Vienna because they're both names of capitals of European countries. My next London alternative I have is Lourdes. This is a Basque name meaning craggy slope. And of course, this is the name of a French city where supposedly a long time ago, a little girl saw the Virgin Mary and Madonna, the singer, has a daughter named Lourdes. I think a lot of people associate that name with her and I think she has a really good association. There's also an actress named Lourdes Benedicto. And yeah, I think this name is so, so, so cool. It's been in the top 1,000 girl names only two years, 2000 and 2001. And I think that's someone who likes London, might like Lourdes because they're both two syllable names beginning in LO and they are both European city names. And my last London alternative I have is Madrid. This is a Spanish name meaning place of abundant waters. A very beautiful picture that comes to mind with that meaning. This is of course the capital of Spain. It's also the name of a city in Iowa that I hear about all the time. They pronounce it Madrid here. And I think that Madrid is totally usable way underused. And the reason why I think Madrid is super usable in 2016 is because people are crazy about Maddie names. And of course, Maddie is a very accessible nickname for Madrid. And I think that someone who likes London might like Madrid because they're, of course, both names of capitals of European countries. At number 92 in the year 2014 in the US was the name Alexandra. This is of course a feminine form of Alexander, meaning defending men. There is a gorgeous actress named Alexandra Daddario who was from the Percy Jackson movies, and another beautiful actress named Alexandra Shipp who played Aaliyah in the recent Aaliyah biopic. This is definitely a name associated with royalty, in particular the Romanov family from Russia. I have known tons and tons and tons of Alexandras. Most of them tend to go by Alex. And I have met many people with the middle name Alexander as well. This has been in the top 100 girl names since 1984 and has been in the top 1,000 girl names most years since the year 1915. There are tons of other forms of the name Alexander. So all three of my alternatives for Alexander are going to be forms of this name. And my first alternative I have is Alexandria. This is an English form of Alexandra, which means defending men again. This is the capital of Egypt. And my husband has a cousin with a daughter named Alexandria, and she is just darling. I really love 
that name on her a lot. I definitely associate this with Alexander the Great because he went around conquering all these cities and naming them Alexandria after himself. And the late singer David Bowie has a daughter named Alexandria Zara, so I definitely associate that with him as well. This was in the top 100 girl names from 1990 through 2001 and in the top 1000 girl names since 1969. It's currently ranked at 211 in the year 2014. I think that someone likes Alexander, I'm not like Alexandria because they're only one letter apart in spelling and pronunciation. They have the same meaning and then Alexandria could honor an Alexandra. The next Alexander alternative is the Italian form of Alexandra and that is Alessandra or Alessandra. I love this name so much. It of course means defending men again. I really associate this with Victoria's Secret supermodel Alessandra Ambrosio and there are several gorgeous actresses with this name. I mainly think of Alessandra Torresani and the beautiful actress Alessandra Mostranardi, a very cool name. I've actually considered using this to honor my grandma whose name is Sandra, which is of course in this name. Alessandra first entered the top 1000 girl names in 1987. It is currently ranked at 299 in rising popularity, which I think is wonderful. And I think that someone who likes Alexandra might like Alessandra because they have a very similar look and sound. They have the same meaning and of course Alessandra can honor an Alexandra as well. And my last Alexandra alternative I have is Alejandra. This is the Spanish form of Alexandra which again means defending men. I think this name is wonderful. I actually worked in an elementary school where there were sisters named Alejandra and Mariana. I think that, I thought that was absolutely beautiful. There is a Mexican pop singer named Alejandra Guzman and a Mexican actress named Alejandra Barros. But this has been in the top 1,000 girl names in the U.S. since 1972 and is currently ranked at 476 but going down in popularity. I think that someone who likes Alexandra might like Alejandra because they have a very similar look and sound, the same meaning, and Alejandra could of course honor an Alexandra. And my last name for this video at number 91 in the year 2014 was the name Sophie. This is the French form of Sophia, which means wisdom. There are tons of popular actresses with this name. Sophie Turner is from the show Game of Thrones. Sophie McShara played one of the evil stepsisters in the new live action version of Cinderella. Sophie Ward is a lovely English actress and Sophie Marco is one of the Bond girl actresses. I also really, really, really loved the movie The Book Thief and the actress who played the main character in that is named Sophie Nelis. And Sophie Okonedo is a gorgeous, gorgeous actress. I think I first saw her in the movie The Secret Life of Bees. Eric Clapton, Luke Perry, and Bette Midler all have daughters named Sophie. I think this name is Darling, and it's actually going down in popularity right now. I really, really love the idea of Sophie as a middle name. It has been in the top 100 girl names since 2007 and has always been in the top 1,000 girl names in the U.S. My first Sophie alternative I have is Saffron. This is an English name that refers to the spice or plant or color. I first saw this name on actress Saffron Burroughs. She is absolutely gorgeous, a wonderful association with this name. I also think of the song Mellow Yellow because the line in that is, I'm just mad about Saffron. I think that's really cute. Simon Le Bon from Duran Duran has a daughter with this name and there was a 90s model named Saffron Aldridge. I didn't come up with Saffron as an alternative for Sophie and I think it is brilliant as an alternative for Sophie. My friend Amelia that I mentioned earlier actually suggested this for me and I think it's wonderful and I think that someone like Sophie met like Saffron because she could go by Safi which is super similar to Sophie. My next Sophie alternative I have is Ophélie. This is the French form of Ophelia which means help. There is a French actress named Ophélie Winters and a stunning French journalist named Ophélie Beignet but it is very rare in the US. I think this name is totally underused and absolutely beautiful beautiful and I think that's someone like Sophie might like Ophélie because they do have kind of a similar sound and they are both French variants of names. And my last Sophie alternative I have is Sylvie. Sylvie is a French form of Sylvia which means forest. Actor Jason Bateman has a daughter named Maple Sylvie and author Lewis Carroll who wrote the Alice in Wonderland books also wrote a book called Sylvie and Bruno which I think is really cool. Audrey Hepburn played a Sylvie in the movie with actor Cary Grant and this name is very popular in the Netherlands right now. I think this name is so stunning and I could totally use it if it worked with my last name. And I think that someone like Sophie might like Sylvie because it has a similar sound and they are again both French variants of names. That's it for this video. Please tell me what your favorites of the alternatives I listed were and any other alternatives that you like for these names that I didn't mention. And thank you so much for watching. Bye!